Why don't we get into the lion's share brought to you by BetMGM and get to the taters. Last night, we rang the bell a ton uh, with Jordan Alvarez, Jorge Soler, Christian Walker late night at Dodger Stadium. Let's try to do it again, Scotty. We'll start in Chicago. I'm usually not one who wants to go after Zach Wheeler. Uh, that's usually not the guy that I want to go after on tater time. But when somebody's five for 13 off of Wheeler and all five of those hits are home runs, I'll make an exception for it. Cody Bellinger, five for 13 with five homers in what his career off of Wheeler. Plus there. 550 for Cody tonight to start tater time off for us. Wow. Five hits against him in 13 at bats and all five are dingers. Uh, I mean, it is salty tater time right here. <laughs> uh, you can't ignore that. I, and, and Bellinger hasn't even been hasn't been hitting that well lately. He did have an RBI double last night, but hey, well that's, just, that's just you can't ignore uh, when you guys got five homers off of somebody. Uh, next, Alex Bregman for the Astros in Toronto facing our boy Kikuchi uh, tonight, Scotty. Seven for 18. With two homers in his career off of Kikuchi. And look at this fat price we're getting. Plus six hundred. Six to one for Bregman tonight. Let's go, Kikuchi. Throw him a gopher ball. Uh, you know, and he has been throwing gopher balls. And the Astros are on fuego. All I know is uh, I love that bet as well. The little fella can uh, get some pop going tonight. Let's go. Let's go. He's due, baby. Next, down to Arlington. Padres and the Rangers getting together again. And Manny Machado has seen John Gray t quite a lot in his career. Of course, when he was back in Colorado, he saw him quite frequently. How's 11 for 33 with four home runs in his career off of John Gray? And you're giving me plus 425, which is usually a nice Machado sweet spot. Let's get Manny big fly down in Arlington tonight at that price. Yeah, I think so. And here's why. My buddy is actually uh, vacationing in San Diego. And I said, where are you staying? He said, I'm right across the street from Petco. I said, they're out of town. He's like, I don't care. I'm here for the food that's and why the you got beach. A room there. So that's, that's why, why you got a room. <laughs> maybe, but that's why maybe Machado will hit one and ring the bell for us tonight because they're not even playing at the home of the best soft serve ice cream in the mid. No, they are not. Next, we will go to Colorado. Milwaukee is still there. Uh, I got Yelich on Sunday. We have not been able to get him yet in this series at Coors Field, but maybe Dakota Hudson is what we need. Yelich 5 for 12 with two homers in his career off of Hudson, plus 400 for him tonight. Let's go big fly, Christian. Yeah, I mean, what is it? Like three nights a week, I'm betting on this guy to hit a home run. Uh, you know, when I think of that lineup, I always think of Yelich and – Give me that 400. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get it tonight in the thin air. Uh, last night, of course, uh, we wanted a lot of taters in the White Sox Guardian game in Cleveland. There was a lot of taters. Had a couple of add-ons. We're going to try to go after it again tonight, this time with Jose Ramirez. Let's take one of the best home run hitters on the board in that game. Fetty gives up a bunch of home runs. Ramirez has been very hot, of course, this year. And you're giving me plus 375 for him tonight. More power, of course, from the left side, which is where he'll be with Fetty on the mound. Let's go to Ramirez. Have you ever seen anything like the way this guy turns on pitches on both sides of the play? But he definitely has more power on the left side and jacks home runs. I am all for this bet. All for that indeed. And finally, I usually don't go back to back with the same guy. What? But this guy is so good at Dodger Stadium, and he did it in May. Homer two nights in a row. He's got three homers at Dodger Stadium this year. He's got 15 in 40 career games at Dodger Stadium. Christian Walker absolutely loves this place, and he has paid me off enough that I will go right back to the well tonight. Plus 450 for Christian Walker. I'm not scared of Gavin Stone, whoever you want to throw. It doesn't matter. Let's ring it again, Christian. My man owns the ravine. He loves the temperatures outdoor, nighttime, Lipstick City, Dodger Stadium, Dodger Dogs, and long fly balls. Indeed. So there you go. A uh, little tater time six-pack for you on a full baseball night. Bellinger, Bregman, Machado, Yelich, Ramirez, and Christian Walker. 
big flies indeed. All right, before we leave the lion's share, I did want to give you updated look at both the Cy Youngs. Why? First of all, Scruble pitched last night for Detroit. I don't think he pitched that great, uh, to be quite honest with you, Scotty. They did lose that game to the Twins. Uh, he left with the tied 2-2. Scruble's still the favorite, plus 180 for the AL Cy Young right now. Corbin Burns at plus 250. Your boy Garrett, don't call me Davy Crockett, who the White Sox are looking to trade. Uh, now 8-1 to one for the Cy Young with Logan Gilbert and all the other Mariner guys behind him at 12. Your boy Gilbert Grape is on the list. Seth Lugo's having a great yeah. year. No doubt about it. Uh, I wouldn't argue with Scooble at this point. Even last night, uh, he gives up two runs. I'll take that six ways till Sunday. And we give you the National League ones today because uh, the favorite is going tonight. We mentioned Zach Wheeler. We hope that he gives up a homer to Cody Bellinger. But he is the favorite at 2-1 to one right now. On the NL side, Chris Sale at plus 350, Tyler Glass now at plus 550, Ranger Danger Suarez and Max Fried. And I now see him, Scotty. Every time I open up that page, oh, I look I know to what see you're say. how close to the top has Skeens gotten. Well, he is now one, two, three, four, five, six. He is now in the top 10. He's number 10 on the list at 30 to 1. He was 300 to 1 when he got called up. He's 30 to 1 now for the NL Cy Young. Tell me he isn't the most exciting pitcher in baseball. If that was the award, I think he would absolutely win. I think he would win if he's the most exciting in the baseball. I don't, I, I'm not sure he'll get this this year. I think he'll win one in his career, maybe multiple ones uh, in his career. I think he's probably just going to have to settle for rookie of the year this year, but maybe he'll prove me wrong and keep uh, throwing seven innings and nine strikeouts every single night. Uh, that's going to move him even higher up the list. Honestly, like, um, you know, I've heard it go from, is he going to make the All-Star game? Well, of course he's going to make the All-Star game. Is he going to start the All-Star <laughs> game is the question. Now, people would love that. And that's what the All-Star game should be about. It should be about fun and what do the people want to see. Nothing against Zach Wheeler or any of these other guys, but... I'd rather have the kid uh, go out there uh, and start the all-star game for the National League. And you know what? I think baseball would love it, too, because all eyes would be on it. They'd want to see Skeen uh, face. How about Skeens and Judge in the first inning of the all-star game? Let's go. I mean, it'll be and great. I want to see uh, and I want to see Ellie De La Cruz like baseball's yes. got to give us what we want to see. These are the most exciting players in the game. Uh, Otani, all the rest. But I want to see those kids. Uh, they're phenomenal. And that's what I think baseball needs, that shot in the arm of some new juice.